Not right. Oh, look at the perp now. Standing out there in the gray sweater. Look, look at this one. <laughs> Hiding in the corner. Uh, uh, it's so funny. He's wearing pink top shoes. Looking at his shoes. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. They love to use colors, right? Pink. Hey, I said I don't wear pink. Pink is a feminine color. Yeah, you know. You ain't never see me wearing pink. Call me old school. I don't care. All right. So anyway, uh, let's see. Today, targeting. Remote no monitoring, absolutely. Every time I went into the kitchen to wash dishes, as soon as I put my hand under the water, yeah, car honking. All right? Same sounding car honk. Every time I put my hands under the water, whether it be in the kitchen or the bathroom, a car honking at that exact moment all right so again be able to watch monitor it and so they do this sort of thing and after last night uh, <laughs> a text argument between me and Pam she was pretty cool this morning but then she came home from work and started talking to me so I was like oh hey you know <laughs> nothing I can do about that I'm tired of talking to her so you know yep so uh, just the babysitter is coming to watch the kids next week so I have time to catch up on some studying some reading and putting out the content that I've been envisioning to put out to expose these bastards. So they uh, certainly uh, woke up the sleeping giant within me because now I won't rest until they're fully exposed or exposed enough to where like I said, if they do it to somebody else, they're going to seriously think twice about doing it. And if they do do it, there's enough information out there so that those targeted uh, individuals will have the information they need to understand and realize what's being done to them. Okay? And hopefully they will take it further than I did, than I am. You know, and shed new light and a new perspective on this program. So, the one thing I do know that is, like I said, experimentation based. They've been experimenting on us for decades. They haven't stopped. But what they have done now is created a program in which they can get the community and those in the broader society to target you right and that purpose is basically to isolate you villainize you discredit you when you talk about being microchip for the purpose of remote world monitoring and being hit with directed energy weapons okay so I'm going to continue to do this Regardless of what they say, regardless of what they try to imply, regardless of what propaganda they're spreading, regardless of microwaving me, myself, the people around me, particularly family, my kids, you know, because you know when people talk about, oh, you know, your kids are talking to you, they're like, oh, you're crazy. Well, I understand the technology. And so, 
you know, it has, you know, when I see kids targeting me uh, in a particular manner, I point it out, right? But I know my own kids is not targeting me on purpose because they've been told what to do. Because they're with me for the majority of the time. And so, like I said, I understand. So, if it doesn't have the, you hear the ambulance? <laughs> oh, watch the American flag. Watch, see? Patriot theme. Right? Clenching his fist. Don't, don't clench your fist until your back turn. Clench your fist and face me, motherfucker. <laughs> he take his phone out. Look, look, look. Yeah, see? Calling out their tactics. Like I said, when they shit don't work out, uh, that's this is what they revert to. These uh, psychological threats. Right? So, don't matter. You're looking up at the sky, bro. How about I look down on the ground? Right? <laughs> uh. Alright, my bus is here. Oh, and also, look, look, look. They always, just today, being heavily targeted by the Hispanic woman. Look at her, look at her. Yeah, bow your head, bitch. <laughs> Not for the camera. <laughs> they have the dike. Yeah, I know. Always the same subliminal message. Because they send the white guy, and they send the white woman, and then they send the dyke. Alright? <laughs> you know, it's funny watching, and not really funny, it's just serious. You know, black women are being conditioned into bisexuality and becoming gay. Having, as they get older, because their inability to uh, their inability to have a relationship with a man right they have this you can't tell me what to do and I'm independent and blah 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 but no other group of women you hear saying that shit you know what I'm saying the Hispanic women they respect their men you know, they get into a relationship, they get into marriage, that man get all the respect. Black women, they don't respect black men at all. Black men, we can't tell them nothing. And then they turn around and they want us to protect them. Right? But you can't tell a black woman nothing as a black man. She won't listen to you. Because she thinks she know more than you. She better than you. She more educated than you. She make more money than you. Right? And all her girlfriends is in whispering in her ears the same toxic feminine bullshit. Alright? And so this is the so this is the state in which you see black men and black women are in today. We are the worst off in terms of relationships, in terms of marriages, in terms of communicating with each other. And particularly with black women, they don't even know what black men want, but they want us to know what they want. Oh, you have to know me. You have to get to know me. But do they even try to get to know the black man that they're dating or they're in a relationship with? You know? And it, it is that singular mentality that has destroyed that relationship. And it's not the reason, but it's one of the reasons. And it's a major component to that religion. Uh, 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 reason. Not religion, reason. It's a major component to that relationship. Right? Because when you're in a relationship with someone, you know, and I, of course I can excuse younger people, but when you're in your mid 30s, 35 and older, you're in your, in your 40s, you're in your 50s. You shouldn't be acting as if you're in your 20s wanting to party every weekend. You know, wanting to turn it up. You know, every weekend. And you have kids at home. Okay? 
And this is a fundamental problem in which we are being conditioned. Our mentality is regressive. Our relationship with each other is regressive. Okay? But as long as they can give you and show you nice things to buy, to make you happy, to make you feel some sort of self-worth, is the more less you become. Is the more less your self-worth become. Because you're placing your self-worth on... Is there a local bus? Uh, let me take this one. Take this one. Uh, right? It's the... You be, okay, I gotta pause this. Uh, yeah, so... What I was saying. Yeah, so our... Mentality is regressive. Okay? And this is what's happening. And yet we walk around here thinking that everything is okay, everything is normal. Not realizing what's being done to us. And like I said, we as TIs, we are the distraction. Right? They gotta do something to take the public attention away from the seriousness it's kind of like sports and how some people get addicted to sports the perps target us as TIs they are addicted to us you know for some it is a livelihood they get paid for others they do it because of religious reason because they've been indoctrinated with religion and and so they have been turned into uh, as they would say Christian soldiers right <laughs> yeah that's the uh, that is the ridiculousness of it right no, no white guy today. This guy that's in the Jewish man. Oh, well, he's still white. <laughs> still white. But I'm talking about a non-Jewish white man. Yeah, I'm looking over here, man. <laughs> he's kind of looking over at me. Yeah. Yeah, you know. This is the thing that uh, we have to understand, but we don't. things are not going to get better for us as a people you know it's like they have black people believing that the few people that they see on television the few athletes and the few businessmen who you know make substantial amount of money you know that somehow they're the majority but you know those people are points Zero, zero, one percent of the black population, and I'm talking about multi millionaire, right? And then, if we're talking about, I should say, point zero, 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 one, three zeros, point zero, 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 one percent, and if we're talking about those making a hundred thousand dollars or more is point zero zero one. So black people is not even in one percent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, which I would say very very few, like Oprah, Kanye, uh, and they're not even really the one percent. Because to really be in the one percent, you gotta have upwards of twenty billion dollars. You know, you have to have a network of upwards of $20 billion. That's when you can really make moves. Right? You talk about like a Bill Gates. Right? Like a, um, uh, a Jeff Bezos. Right? Those types of, of people. Right? The multi, multi, multi billionaires. Those are the ones that are controlling things. 
So yeah. And so, oh here you go. Yeah, I'm light it up, buddy. Light it up. I'm gonna light you all up too. That's what they do. All right. Gotta spot these bastards. Gotta spot these bastards. Oh, so anyway, I forgot. Uh, so, you know, when I call that uh, Hispanic lady the B I T C H word, that shit just came out. <laughs> and, yeah, I don't usually use words like that to describe women, so, you know, that's on me. But, I don't blame myself. And I don't feel bad. I try not to say those things. But you know, as a TI, you know what's gonna happen because you will get angry. That's perfectly okay. Don't make them think that. You know, that you shouldn't get angry. Don't let them make you feel that you shouldn't be mad. Okay? Because if if this was being done to those individuals, they'll be mad as hell too. And they'll be angry. So, you know. Don't fall into that trap because what they try to do is, again, turn the other cheek, let them do what they want to do to you, and uh, you just lay there and take it, you know, and they put have their boot on your neck, you're not supposed to fight to get up, right, you're just supposed to lay there. Okay? Don't fall into that trap. You know, this is how they, they destroy those who, when they see things tyranny, they fight back against it. They don't want people like that. Right? Even in a so-called free country like America. And we know America is not really free, a free country. No country is a free country. Okay? And no country is truly democratic. No country truly has a equal justice system. Even in countries where the population is majority white, you still have discrepancy in the justice system, right? And could be between men and women, older men, younger men, older women, younger women. So, you know, don't let them fool you, as Bob Marley said. Don't let them fool you, or even try to screw you. And my other favorite song, Babylon system is the vampire. Sucking the blood off the sufferers. See, that's why they killed Bob Marley. His lyrics was too real and true, and his lyrics exposed the system, so they had to get rid of him. You know? But many of us are too dumbed down and brainwashed, too ignorant. Too passive and docile and so you know we're gonna have to get angry and not just a few but the many and when that happens is when you'll see real change